It's a new year. Build. It's a new year. Build with new unknowns. We're coming off yet another season of uncertainty. A year, if we're honest, filled lots of us with fear. Hey guys, happy Sunday to you. Uh, happy New Year. I hope you guys can see me. I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, I can't see the comments. Um, so that means I can't see what you guys are saying. Uh, but happy first Sunday of the year. Um, I I'm totally in the place I didn't expect my myself to be. Not just in terms of location, but even in terms of timing. Uh, God bless you, Ari. Good to see you, man. Missed you so much. I am currently at the airport. Uh, we are in Florida. We are in Orlando. We came out there for, for a missionary assignment that was extended by an extra week. Um, uh, just because we're going to details about that another time. Uh, but we've had to um, do more COVID tests today. We've been there for about eight hours and we just literally got our results now. Uh, and we've tested negative, so we praise God. Uh, it's been a roller coaster of a journey. I know the entire year of 2021 has been a roller coaster of a journey. Uh, we've not eaten today, we've not eaten since yesterday afternoon. We, I need to get my family fed, but I need to make sure I come online to be with you guys uh, just for a few moments. I'm not gonna preach a sermon today, I'm not gonna give a word today. Uh, we're gonna have our, officially our first service next week, Sunday. Um, but let me tell you something, it's going to be a beautiful year. Last year was a tough year, it was a rough year. It was a year that many of us had to navigate so much that we didn't expect. And we have found ourselves in a destination, in a location at a time that we didn't expect at all. So many things have happened for us, to us on this trip. Things that we didn't see coming, but we've seen the hands of God. Uh, every single step of the way. We've been able to minister to people, uh, lead people in faith, encourage people, pray for people, uh, give people prophetic words, and also receive prophetic words for our lives and our family and our ministry. But we just want to, I just want to come on there real quick uh, so I don't miss this. The enemy's tried everything so that we can, we, we will miss this. Uh, we've been queuing up literally for seven hours to get a test and then waiting for another 45 minutes to get a result. We've been at the airport. Uh, we don't fly out today, but we've, we've had to get it done today. Um, but we thank God. Thank God to all of you guys who have been supporting us throughout, not just for the season, but in the past year. Those of you who have been encouraging us, who have been surrounding us, who have been generous, who have been uh, keeping your faith and helping us to, to keep our faith in very tough times. Uh, in order for us to encourage other people, uh, we need other people to encourage us. And so we are so blessed that we are surrounded by a plethora of people who are filled with life, full of faith, filled with Jesus, filled with encouragement. 
uh, filled with generosity because everything we do, whether we like it or not, it is still needing finances. Every mission trip, every evangelistic um, uh, mission, every um, homeless ministry. We came out here, actually, we did a, a fantastic partnership with the Orlando uh, Union Rescue Mission, uh, a faith-based organization working. We, we fed uh, oh, 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 I roughly about 1,000 people uh, uh, just before Christmas. Um, the kids were involved. It was so powerful. Uh, we've been able to bless people. Even the extended stay, we've seen the end of God. We've met people. We've been able to encourage people. But look, this is what I want to say to you. First things first, all right? As I said, first things first. We are going to have our official first service next Sunday uh, because the Wi-Fi is terrible. I'm using a mobile phone to stream to you. I'm not in my studio. Um, we are at the airport. Uh, we're not in the hotel. Um, you know, I was meant to ask the hotel manager to give me a room so that I can stream to yourselves to, um, today. But look, God, look, one thing we have to realize is things might not always go according to, to what we plan, but God always has better in store for us. And that better might not feel better. It might not taste better. You, 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 might, not, you might feel like it's going against you. And if you've seen my, my recent Instagram video, you will see what I stand by there. Look, I really believe that we're in the season of the catapult, where it feels like we've been held back, whether it's COVID, whether it's a disease or sickness, whether it's a loss of a job, a loss of a, 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 of a relationship, or even maybe even a loss of a loved one. I know so many people lost loved ones last year. Uh, I've had to conduct many funerals last year. We had to hold people's hands. Um, in last year. Even just before we flew out, literally two days, I had to conduct a funeral before we flew out uh, to the US. So I want to encourage you. I want to let you know that God has not forgotten about you. I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm at an airport, all right? I'm one of the busiest airports in the world right now. But let me tell you something, family. It's going to be a great year for us. It's a year of reconstruction. The Lord told me to tell you that this is a season of reconstruction. He's going to rebuild and he's going to reconstruct everything. The master builder himself is going to do something supernatural in our life. The word has been coming to me every single night for the past few days. It's supernatural. Supernatural. Even, even, even those moments where it feels like things are holding you back and things are going against you. Let me tell you this. They're supernatural moments. They're not natural. God is protecting you. God is holding you back for a greater purpose so he can push you and propel you and catapult you into something a lot deeper. So this season is going to be a season of faith. It's going to be a season of but God. is going to be a season of expectation. I, look, let me tell you something. You've lost things last year. You've been left heartbroken. You've been left despondent and discouraged and disappointed. But let me tell you something, family. This is not a season to give up on God. This is not a season to hold back on your faith, on your worship, on your, on your praise. Look, I, I've, I've got some scriptures for you real quick man that i want to show you look, i'm gonna try to do this on my phone man this is tough man this is tough look but we're gonna try and do on this little on this little iphone man we're gonna try to do it man i can't even see the scriptures i can't even see the scriptures wherever scriptures i put up man I'm, I'm gonna talk to you about that what's the scripture saying to you all right humble yourselves in the sight of the lord and he should exalt you look this is a season of humility we have to be humble throughout this season so that god can exalt us stay humble stay expectant stay faith-filled god will do the supernatural in you and through your name of jesus look i love this translation of romans 12 2 it says don't copy the behavior and customs of this world but let god transform you into a new person by changing the way you think then you will learn to know god's will for you which is good and pleasing and perfect family we have to know god's will for this season we have to step out in god's will but we have to change our mind and our thinking hallelujah look i love this one this one spoke to me real real good man and i put the part in black because when i was reading when i was reading is she okay is she okay huh oh she's saying amen all right is she crying oh wow there's a lady here that works for the airport. She's listening to me right now as I'm preaching. She's, she's part of the TSA. I was just speaking to my wife. She was crying. She was touched. She was saying amen to what we're preaching. Look, everything has a purpose. Maybe this message wasn't even for you guys today. Maybe it's for this lady that was here right now working with tears in her eyes. Just maybe. Look, catch this right now. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will. And the reason I put seek his win was because when I was reading this, I saw seek his win in my eyes. This I read about four times. It says seek his win. I'm like, what translation is that? We don't say seek his win, but the Holy Spirit showed me seek his win in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Family, we have to we have to seek what 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 what's a win for God. Not what's a win for us, but what is a win for God? What is a win for his kingdom? Hallelujah. What is a win for us? Let's not, let's not be selfish. Let's be humble. I says, without faith, it's impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and he rewards those who earnestly seek him. This is a season of faith. I told you, family. I've told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. I'm trying, I'm trying to get you something. All right. Uh, but seek 
first things first, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Family, this is the season of seeking his kingdom. Forget your pain, forget your hurt, forget your heartbreak. Seek his kingdom. We are kingdom citizens. One thing this trip has shown us, we've been there for like 16, 17 days. I've never been in a, in a country for, for this long, okay? 16 days. We didn't know what we, we came here for. What we came here for, we knew God sent us, but we didn't know the, the, the length or the, or the depth of how he sent us. But we know that we are seeking his kingdom. And when you're a kingdom citizen, he will order your steps. He will direct your path. He will bring provision. He will bring healing. He will use you to bring to bring healing to other people. He will safeguard you. He will protect you. Even if it looks scary, even if it looks a little bit uh, discouraging, even if it looks a little bit dis disappointing. And right now I'm at the airport. People are just watching, listening to this and nothing ahead. You know what? We are ministering to them right now. This is truly a global ministry. It might only be a few of us watching us right now, but there are people in the airport right now who are around us and we'll be filled with the Spirit of God. Let me tell you something. We were in a cab. We were in a, in a Uber ride and the, 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 the men were praying for start breaking and tongues start praying as we spoke over his life and we prophesied over his life. Let me tell you something. You and I, we are on assignment. Don't be constrained by anything. Don't be restricted by anything you see or don't see. God is God. And he's the, let me tell you something. This is going to be a spectacular year. It's going to be an extraordinary year. It's going to be a supernatural year. I don't fully know what God has in store, but let me tell you something. He is reconstructing everything. So everything, your mind, your life, your heart, your faith, God says, I'm reconstructing it. Hello, I feel it in my spirit, man. The everything, what the canker worms, what the locusts, everything that was eaten up by them, God says, I'm going to replenish it. I'm going to do a new thing. Revival is coming from the beautiful city of Orlando I'm sending you the blessings of God the spirit of God is with you it's for you I can't even see your comments I don't know where you guys are hallelujah seek is win hallelujah next week Sunday we should be back home by next week Sunday and I will bring a word but before we go family I need you to do this for me I know some people won't but I need you to do it for me. As this is the beginning of the year. This is the first Sunday of the year. I need you guys to give. I need you guys to support this ministry. I need you guys to, to sow into this ministry. And no, I'll be honest with you, both personally and ministerially, we've had to spend more than what we expected on this trip from our own personal pocket and, for, and, and with the help of the ministry because we've had to stay longer than we expected. We've had to support people and bless people and sow into people and ministries out, out here. But let me tell you something. We know that we're supported by generous people. So I want to encourage you right now to be a support, to be a support system. Uh, th there's going to be some rolling announcements coming up real soon. Some of you guys, you know how to give already. It's on your screen right now. I want you guys to help support this ministry. Look, let me see if I can do this. Oh, it still works. Look, man, I want to show you. Look, we are we are in the airport. I can't show you the sunshine because if I go outside, it's going to cut out because of the Wi-Fi. Um, but please do me a favor. Start the year off by sowing your first fruit for the year. Sow a fruit for, for the start of this year. Sow a fruit of faith. Sow a seed of faith. Saying, God, I'm believing you for supernatural things this year. I thank you for allowing me to cross over into 2022. Let me tell you something. This is going to be the year of the supernatural. Expect the supernatural. Let, look, I can't force anyone to expect the supernatural. But for me and my household, we're going to serve the Lord and we're going to expect the supernatural. Because God has spoken it. And wherever God speaks, it will fulfill. I tell you, man, this is a season to run with God more than ever before. This is a season of intimacy. This is a season of power. It's a season of deeper revelation. It's a season where God's going to heal your heart, heal the brokenness, sustain you. Not just sustain you, but cause you to be reconstructed, cause you to be rebuilt again. He's the master builder. Unless the Lord builds their house, those who build, they labor in vain. But this year, we're not going to labor in vain. We're not going to labor in vain. We are not going to suffer. We're not going to be discouraged. We're not going to be despondent. We're not going to be put out. But guess what? Because we are building in partnership and in accordance to the master builder, we're going to see the fruits of our labor. We're going to see plenty of supernatural things come to pass god bless you so much family let me pray for you real quick I, I know this is crazy and i'm shouting like if i just stole something but literally we've been fasting and i got we got to now we've got to feed the kids we've got some supernatural kids man they've been with us oh man guys we will break down the story next week all right and we're going to do a podcast on this uh but we've seen the hands of god thank you so much for your support Thank you for your giving. Thank you for your generosity. Let us be a generous year, family. Before I, let, let's just pray real quick, then I gotta go. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go. Heavenly Father, I just bless you for allowing us to cross over to this brand new year. We thank you that you've turned every disappointment into a, a moments of blessings. My froze dry and drank water. <coughs> oh man, my froze dry. <coughs> thank you. 
Oh, man. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that the Lord will uphold and sustain you. I pray that you have praise on your lips this, this year. I pray that nothing will tame your worship. Nothing will steal your joy. I pray that everything that you cried over in 2021, God will turn around for good, for pleasant, for joy in 2022. I pray that every closed door will be reopened. Everything that's been broken and, and seems like a setback in your life, God will use it as your setup in the name of Jesus. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The peace of God is over you. I pray for new faith. I pray for new hope. I pray that you will be restored in every fashion in of your life. I pray that the God himself will fashion you just like the way that the potter put the clay back together. As long as you stay in his hands, it will put you back together. It will sustain you. He will give you increase in every area of your life. He will fulfill every promise over you and it will walk with you. You will, super, you will see the supernatural things of God manifesting in your life in every single day of this year. Oh, we bless you, Jesus. We honor you and we thank you, God. Family, God bless you. Support us. Support this ministry. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we pray for this airport. We pray for it because we see so many people crying and upset today. We pray for the spirit of God to move over this over this airport. We pray for the spirit of God to move over the city in the name of Jesus. We pray for an abundant blessing. We pray for revival to break out in the name of Jesus. We pray for every assignment that God has over us in London, in, in, in Orlando, in Tel Aviv, wherever it might be, that God will bring people to, to, to help. It will bring the supernatural power of God to move in the name of Jesus. And I declare right now that every single person who's watching right now, whether you're watching live or watching as a rebroadcast, that you will walk in the supernatural supernatural you walk in the prophetic you will speak over nations and nations will listen to you, you will command seasons and command scenarios and environments and moments and things will listen to your voice because you're a child of god we bless you we bless the god in your life and we thank god for his healing and his blessings over you every sickness is wiped away every tear is wiped away in the name of jesus now may the lord bless you and keep it lord cause face and up and be gracious to you the lord lift up his countenance towards you and give his shalom in jesus name we pray amen shalom shalom family don't forget to give. We, we need your support. Give. This is, in fact, forget about supporting us. Be faithful. Be truthful. Be obedient. Be humble this year. Be generous. Honor the word of God. Honor the word of God and see what God does. It's, it's transforming us. Let's change our thinking. Let's change our mindset. Let's change it. Let's be people of faith. God bless you, Ari. God bless you all. We love you. We love you. We love you. And thank you so much, guys, for your prayers. We love you. Wherever you are in the world right now, those in the US, those in the UK, those in Africa, thank you so much for watching the stream. We pray God's blessings over you. 2022 is going to be a spectacular and supernatural year. I can't tell you everything that's going to happen, but know this, that God is walking with you. Start this year. Start this year, the top of the year, by sowing into this ministry, sowing into the things of God, sowing into that, and get on your knees and pray. Next week, we're going to be praying next week. We're going to be having intercession, and we're going to be praying, and we're going to bring a word. And we, I'm excited about this year, man. We've lost so much. We buried so many people last year, so many funerals last year. But this year, we're going to have births and rebirths and reconstruction and new homes and new blessings and new miracles in the name of Jesus. Get ready for the supernatural in your life. God bless you so much. I've got to end the stream. Maybe I can play the, I've, I've got to order, I've got to order a taxi somewhere. Where's the videos? I'm not, I think it's a quick video anyway, but God bless you guys. Send in your prayer request to hello at thewavelondon.tv or message me on Instagram uh, um, and we, we, we will hit you up. All right, God bless you so much. Where am, where am I? Where's the video? I've lost the video. Oh well, there we go.